Well, off to sort something out before we can start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, silly. Neil Robinson survived. We've got no practice tables, so he's been out exploring. But here he is in his natural terrain at the snooker table, one of the favourites, of course, this week, World Number Four, having a great campaign. Just lost narrowly, didn't he, to Judd Trump? He was 4 1 up in the last 32 in Turkey a couple of weeks ago, lost 5 4. So, a tough match. And one of the favourites, clearly, of the event. It, and then when that moment passed, all the other frames after that went against him in quick succession. But, uh, you know, if you're taking the... Someone like Judd all the way. He'll play Andy Hicks in the next round. that uh, I mean to our knowledge she's unusual for a snooker player no one really wants to be without practice what? it's almost a fear Robertson he put a video up of him he was outside eating uh, a meal he purchased at a popular fast food oh. the last one is nine years ago now in one of the European tour events 2015, Robertson uh, won 10. Top, but he was because he secured a place in the Masters, I think, in, with the win of that match. So part of the sort of key to winning is to keep them buttoned up, but uh, everyone's 17. different. Well, this is a hard shot. Twenty-four. I mean, the players that the player that springs to mind. Stephen Hendry in the Masters as well prior to that. Yeah, anyway, in the meantime. Ooh. Well. Hang on. <laughs> well. But he is in the running for that £150,000 bonus that would be in with a chance. Yeah, I mean, now Sullivan's in it, Ron. He has to do what you expect him to do. He's playing in this event when all others have pulled out. And he still is, as we speak. I mean, Players' Championship. And, of course, lost in the final of the World Grand Prix in between. He's got this wonderful straight cue action. Anyway. Winner of this match will play Oliver Lyons. He had a walkover because Dave Gilbert has withdrawn. Of course, Oliver was in good form. Another player just starting out is a uh, operation to get all these tables into place, get them running true. And this is a new venue for this event. Yes, and the, the point about the keep put the practice tables up and keep them in, in fit state to play will take a lot of sort of uh, resources, I think, events. In some, definitely, but lots more means a lot more work for somebody. Played it really well. It's a good shot to play on the black, you know, because it did. 
Maybe with a trace of a little trace of side. Yeah, and that's what's You know, he's been here since Tuesday. This is the first knock he's had, and it's the match. So, might explain why he's not quite there, but Liang this time unable to. But when both was here, well, he's not hit many balls either. What? Well, I'm sure he's uh, out. And it's just uh, struggled a bit in recent times. Didn't struggle there though with that double. I can understand this because he, he looks a little as if he just needs to be easy. Yeah, well. Right hand side of the, the red, it was certainly the right shot of this is a good chance now. So he is in the tour championship, he's the defending champion, although that doesn't get you no. in, it's the top eight on the bounce off the cushion there, I feel, with that last shot. And where is this? May not play a plain ball, of course. 18. Well, this is a real test, let's see how he gets on today. Well, there you are. Because when he's good, he doesn't even. Trouble is, hitting that side of it just pushes it towards the right corner, doesn't it? So I think he's playing it off the cushion. Brown, he has to play it with a lot of drag. Three. Extremely difficult shot underneath the cushion. And he's doing yeah, the right thing. Obviously, if he wins his frame, the Australian, then it's maybe a different ball game already. Oh, that's a terrible shot. That is a really poor shot. The miss and then the flute snooker. Neil not rolling up to the brown, which means it could go anywhere. They've been quite kind there, Dave. <laughs> All kinds of mistakes. And I get where you're coming from. Well, certainly, I mean, you look at Robertson now. Well, he's played all, all season. You know, you kind of just expect it to carry on, but it's not always the case. Third championship next week, which is a best of 19 event for a select field of eight. They're the eight best field of eight. They're the eight best players of the season. And he's clearly one of those. The specific field isn't absolutely set, but also the seedings, which makes a difference when you're going to play even. Difficult to find the highlights of this frame for the simple reason that there haven't been any. It's been it didn't happen before that.
towards the Well, just to say, because uh, we've already had a 4-3, this match already will be Matt Selt against Nob and Senkarn. The uh, tournament office just rejigging things a little bit. One thing with snooker, you never know how long the matches are going to last. We can have a 4-0 in 45 minutes, we can have a 4-3 in... That's the first pot for Strawberry. To win this opening frame. Oh dear me. Wow, after all that effort to pot the brown, he misses the blue. Five. And now he's just got to chip it in. Should get it, but again. Missed in this frame, but he does need the black to finally win it. 18 on the first side. The winner plays Oliver Lyons in the last 64, and that'll be played later today because they're playing three rounds for half of the draw today, down to the last 16. He's having a great season, isn't he? I mean, look at the prize money, just over half a million. As Liang leaves that this, a potential bonus. The Tour Championship, 150 to the winner, and having uh, a great campaign. And he is in that position where he can, as with Turkey, pick and choose. But meantime, yeah, Robinson, he's clearly out of, out of touch and he's not been able for various reasons, I suppose. That was a nice shot. Yeah, well, that's not an easy queuing shot, but again, there was all sorts of... Well. Two with Andrew Padgett, Gary Wilson 2-2 two -two with Mark King, that's another tough McLeod. Robbie Williams has won the first against Stuart Watson. Nice. David Lee, fourth frame against Mark Lloyd, and Jamie Curtis Barrett, the late call-up has... 60. One of the scores where well, Lou and won the first drama taking place right across this arena. Now, as for this match, Neil Robertson is this. He's really good at keying himself up for matches and, and making it a match for people. Even at the end of that last frame, he was sort of sat in his chair, sort of almost. Oasis in the desert today, wouldn't it? Because it's been some very initially good matches on paper, but a lot of balls have missed on this table. No, yeah, Marco Fu back in 2015. Sixty. Twenty-four. Oh, as you can see, the last two reds are going to be quite difficult different reasons to get on that's welping it but you could slip around the back of it trying to play the cannon
played through. Looks better on the case. If he's the gap, is a small one. Nearly enough to stick it out to pot it even. He was called a foul for, but he's about to get up and call it on himself anyway. He's about to get up and call it on himself anyway. Didn't move very far. Well, a nice shot. We're doing a shot here to get somewhere near to the yellow. Hit it well. Thirteen. Well, I think just about. As uh, Wembo missed one of the opposite corner. 20. Like this, but not Roberts. Just this. Twenty-eight on the front. Scoreline.